Hi everybody, Cybref here. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. You know, I just wrote a, an article on entitled This Little Light of Mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And came to me like the minute I opened up my eyes this morning and I've been like up till five o'clock in the morning researching and you know reading and doing some things you know some deep studies um, into universe into light over darkness and you know different things like that over the really like the whole of 2020 okay and in un trying to understand the universe it was almost as if the penny dropped that 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 moment of realization which took me and I've done reflective thinking several times in 2020 which I do on an annual basis and sometimes you've got to get real deep within yourself you've got to get real deep within things that are universal because a lot of people, as humans and mankind, tend to just want the surface. They want the things that the world has taught them. What the world has conditioned your mind to only think and believe. What the world, almost like a newspaper, you you program to read that newspaper every day or go to Pacific or certain websites and only partake of certain websites, it becomes conditioned within your mind after a time. And this is what religion and denominations tend to do. It's ritualistic. It's programming of a different kind. And that's why the, 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 the business model and the system is always formatted. You have the praise and worship and you enjoy the praise and worship and the praise and worship takes you to a, the level and prepares your mind for the, when the person who's presenting the sermon or lecture comes out. Are you with me? You see the system? It's the formatted system. And people, if you change that system, straight away they would be thrown off or thrown out within their mind. If you was to, instead of praise and worship, of a rock, a rock band or a reggae band <laughs> what would the people think they would go no 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 that's not what we used to <laughs> so straight away that tells you that um, it's a form of programming okay now I want to get to this little light of mine because the light that shines literally and naturally think of it just think of it for one minute what would happen and this came to me yesterday what would happen if there was no light no physical universal light and I was listening to something yesterday and the person said when the light or the sun shines 
it's one sun shining worldwide. Isn't that interesting? And that blew my mind. And it reinforced every single thing that has happened in 2020 and I've studied in 2020 and read in 2020. Deep things. All the reflective thinking, all the writing, all the reading. It summarized everything with that specific analogy. Imagine the sun shines. And no matter where you are in the world, you can look up in the sky, see the, see the sun, right? And it's the same sun that everybody sees around the entire world, daily, 24-7, obviously until sunsets. Then you see the moon. Are you with me? It's the same moon around the world. That is interesting. And it shows that the creator, let's take it deeper now, the creator puts these creative things right in the face and eyes of people of mankind daily. And you can add the stars to that. Just at the entire cosmos, the entire universe. Are you, are you with me? This is his kingdom. I'm going to say it again. This is his kingdom that operates worldwide at any given point. And without light, what would you do? What would I do? What would this world of people do? Are you with me? And this is the sun, creator sun, Ra. If you research the oldest name of the creator, it's Ra. And it, Ra is in the middle of prey. Ra is in the middle of praise. Go do the research, okay? So the creator puts the physical sun there. And guess what religion and denominations have done? They've turned the sun into the S-O-N images and idols of worship. That even T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Joel Olstein, Benny Hinn, they do not understand this phenomenon. They do not understand this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Is the literal light of the universe. And the light and literal light of the universe can only reflect and be owned and operated by the creator himself. I don't want to get too deep in this. What I'm trying to say to you is light is the opposite of darkness. And we live in a cosmos, a universe of opposites. That's why you have positive, negative. Again, this can get deep. But to keep it simple. You cannot shine light and darkness all at the same time. You can't do that. That's not how the conscious mind or the subconscious mind works. And for you to eradicate darkness or eradicate, let's, 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 let's say good and evil, okay? Obviously good is the light. Evil is the darkness, okay? Now, good and evil, in the middle of good and evil, you're going to have chaos. That's another 
area, deep area that I've, you know, through the Holy Spirit, through the universal spirit, through kingdom communications of spirit to spirit and all that stuff. Listen. The creator speaks. The creator has a tongue. The creator obviously has a mind because we have a mind, okay? What separates us is good and evil. Are you with me? Well, really evil separates us, but obviously good does not separate us. And evil really distorts that communication. And that's why you have to eradicate evil in order to have a clear, transparent flow of energy. And everything in the universe is energy and matter. Matter is energy. Are, are you with me? All right. Now, what we have to do is spend time to ensure that we know what light we're dealing with. And that light cannot be religious or denominational. That light has to be a higher level, like almost like a ladder has rungs, but you want the highest rung or the highest realm of the universe or of light or of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. But it takes rungs of a ladder to keep climbing within your conscious and subconscious mind which the creator has given you these tools, powerful tools in order to work this all out or communicate with the Holy Spirit and gods and goddesses of his kingdom. Now, let me say this. This is what religious and denomination, denomination people do not understand because they are conditioned to accepting a certain level of understanding or what they think is understanding. Or what they think is knowledge. Or what they think is wisdom. But when you encounter into the Holy Spirit. And encounter into the universal spirit. Which is the Holy Spirit. Don't get me wrong. is not a religious denominational thing. Okay. I'm talking universal when I use those words. So when you. The higher realm and frequency of energy or knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you have to be moved. You have to listen. You have to learn. You have to spend time in meditation. You have to spend time in solitude and silence. In fact, in, with silence, you will hear a lot more than in a noisy world. Or room or environment so the light this is all light knowledge of wisdom and understanding of light which eradicates darkness and if you don't have light then you will have more darkness than light are you with me this is crucial and important even if you think it's not because eternity and afterlife or eternal life is something that the creator has already predestined and preordained period and you cannot operate a kingdom without laws and commandments. That's why you have Mat, 42 laws. And on a religious or denominational level, you have 10 commandments, which they got or 
rewrote from the mart of African Africa. All this human DNA, all this human architecture, all this human worship, cosmos, science, metaphysics, all of that. And they created the Judas, Judaism, Jewish Ten Commandments. Are you with me? Or Christian religion Ten Commandments. Which some keep Sunday. And Sunday is the first day of the week. When the Creator keeps the seventh day. Are you with me? That's why when it comes to your light. Your light is what's going to balance your wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And your wisdom, knowledge and understanding has to, has to match up with the creator of the original and first root of the Garden of Eden on which the Garden of Eden is Africa. If you have the oldest human DNA being Africa, how can the Garden of Eden be different? And I've gone into different things regarding that in previous videos. But this little light of mine has to be a light that if you should sing such a song with conviction, it has to be the original light and literal light of the cosmos and universe of the creator that shines upon us all daily worldwide if you're on youtube please leave your comments please share like subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos we really need to take this channel up i need followers i need people who are conscious spiritual people who want to grow in light and not grow in darkness Thank you for listening, CyberRef.